hi guys so today I thought I'd share my recipe for keto chocolate chip cookies I've been working on this recipe for a few months now and um, I think it's finally turned out perfect so let's get started use a stand mixer or hand mixer so you'll need one stick of unsalted butter softened and to that we're going to add our allulose and brown swerve and then we're going to you're going to want to uh, mix that up um, cream it really well like you would a standard chocolate chip cookie recipe so let that go for a little bit maybe three or four minutes And then you're going to want to scrapey scrapey down the bowl mix it a little more and then once you've done that we're going to add in our baking soda baking powder and salt and for the salt I do use um, about a heaping half teaspoon of kosher salt so if you're using regular table salt you'll want to stick with about a quarter of a teaspoon and let that mix for a little bit and then scrapey scrapey down that bowl and let it mix up again a little bit more and then we are going to add in our one large egg and two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract and then we're gonna you're gonna let that mix probably for a total of three to four minutes on about a medium high speed and this mixture is going to look very wet separated kind of cottage cheese like it's never going to fully come together because of the fats and the amount of liquid from the egg so it is going to be a very wet mixture so um, don't worry about it if yours turns out like that it's totally fine so just let it go for about three to four minutes on a medium speed. And then we will add in our flowers. So we are going to add in our almond flour and you want to use as fine of an almond flour as you can. Um, if you don't, I find that it does give you a little bit of a grainy texture and in my opinion makes it seem more like you're eating an oatmeal chocolate chip cookie um, which I totally enjoy too um, but the finer you can get that almond flour the better for this recipe and then you're also going to add in your lupin flour and for those of you who are not familiar with lupin flour it can have a little bit of a bitter taste so if you're tasting the raw cookie dough you may notice that but once you bake it uh, most of that bitter taste bakes away so the final um, baked product should not have much of a bitter taste at all and then you're going to add in your chocolate chi chocolate chips and I like to use um, bake believe and I use half milk chocolate and half dark because the milk chocolate really gives it that classic chocolate chip cookie taste it does have more carbs than the uh, dark chocolates so I like to use a little bit of both all right and so then we're just going to give the batter one final mix and then it is time to scoop the cookie dough out so I like to use a number 30 scooper or disher if you don't have one of these you can totally roll the dough up in your hand um, into a bowl about the size of uh, walnuts or um, I like a tablespoon size um, either way you should be able to get around 15 cookies and then we're going to pop them in a 350 degree oven for about 8 to 10 minutes depending on what size your cookies are 
If you were able to get around 15 cookies, then I would say nine minutes max. What you'll want to do when you take them out of the oven is give them a slight drop on the counter and that will flatten the cookies a little and give it as those classic cookie crinkles. Because these are keto cookies, they are going to firm up as they cool. So when you take them out of the oven, they're going to look underdone. Even when you test the tops, they're going to seem a little gooey underneath. Um, that's perfect. As long as you've got some light browning around the edges, um, you don't want to leave them in there longer thinking that they're underdone because if you let them cook longer, they will be more of a brick when they cool down. They will be hard. And we want soft and chewy cookies. So once you pull them out of the oven, let them cool on the counter on the sheet pan for at least three minutes which should be long enough for you to be able to safely get a spatula underneath them and you're going to move them to a cooling tray or your platter and let them cool for another five-ish minutes so all in all you may you may need to wait about 10 minutes once they come out of the oven in order for you to be able to fully enjoy these All right, so after letting them cool for about seven to 10 minutes, I'm gonna show you guys what these cookies look like inside. Super soft, chewy, just a perfect keto cookie. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do try this recipe out, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Bye.